Hi everybody! Hello church, hello tribe, hello flame, hello sunbeams. Yes, hello everybody. Um, this week we've got some video clips. We're going to see what Anna and Edward get up to in lockdown and the rabbits are going to try and copy them. So we'll see about that. And then we've got some prize winners. So Daniel and Ione, little film clips of them getting their prizes. And then we've got Edward who's already got the questions right for Mark chapter 5. So we'll see his answers and if anyone else sends their answers in I'm sure Phil will add that clip later. And then we've got next week's questions from Ruth. So thanks everybody. Bye! Let's go, so. One, two, one, two. Another champion from Flame. It's got all the questions right. And I see you're wearing a, a is that a Tottenham t-shirt? West Ham. West Ham. Oh, it's not Arsenal, no, West Ham. It's beautiful. Very nice. And what made you like West Ham? Um, James Bissell. Ah, oh, is he a friend of yours? Yeah. Ah, that's very nice. So I'm sure James would like a West Ham supporter to get a nice big bar of chocolate. <laughs> so keep answering the questions. Well done, Daniel. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Very good. So you're getting all the questions right again. You're going to be the brightest boy in flame. And you uh, are going to have read the whole of Mark's Gospel. <laughs> I hope you're going to share the chocolate bar. Do you think yeah. he's going to share it Absolutely. with his family? No, he will. He can't eat that all alone. <laughs> good, good. The answer to question one is that the demons were put into pigs. And the answer to question two is that it was a woman who'd been bleeding for 12 years. Well, good morning, tribe. And uh, we hope you're all well and that those of you who are at school, we hope that's going well. And uh, I think you'll be breaking up quite soon. Um, and we're really looking forward to seeing you as and when, hopefully not too long now. Anyway, this morning I've got two questions for you and they both come from Mark 6. And you'll need to send your answers in to Michelle. And the questions are these. In Mark 6... Uh, what I want you to do is find two examples of where we see that Jesus is God's son. Two examples of things that he did that we couldn't do uh, that prove that he is the son of God. All right, tribe? So those are your questions. Bye.